Hey guys, I am going to be running through um, some of my wigs here that I need to thin out because I'm getting bombarded and just have way too many. So I'm going to be selling them and um, I like to offer my YouTube subscribers the chance to get these if they want before I go and list them. So uh, first up here is Ellen Villa's Girl Mono. And this one is in the color Caramel Rooted. The number code on it is 202614. I have only worn this for review. There is um, a little bit of sea salt sprayed in it, and that is about it. I have not worn it or anything. I, I think I picked the wrong color for myself. So I'll do a spin real quick. I will list the prices um, on the screen here because I have to look some things up. So this is Girl Mono. All right, second up, this is Envy's Joy in the color Sparkling Champagne. Again, only worn for review. I have not done anything as far as products or anything on this. This one has a great lace front, and I will show you the inside. So we have a extended lace front that runs clear to the ear tabs and a left mono part. Okay, guys, uh, third up here, I have an Ellen Villa Storyville, and this is in the color Ginger Blonde Rooted. The color code on her is 26-19-25. Now, she does have a lace front, but no monofilament features. I will show you the lace front. Again, this one has only been worn for review. As a matter of fact, every everyone that I'm going to be showing you today has only uh, been shown for review. This color is great. It's just a little bit too light for me. No products used on this. Here's a spin all the way around. This one has some great curls, so this is a good one. This is better than my everyday wear here in the Sandy Blonde Rooted. So I'll show you the inside of the cap. We just have the, like I said, uh, lace front. There's no special monofilament features. And for those of you that are thinking that uh, Ellen Villa do not fit larger head circumference, let me put it back on. I am 22 and a half around. And my Ellen Villa fit me perfectly this is from the hair power collection and i think that the hair power and the changes collection so here you can see my coverage it comes down over my glasses frame so i bend that in so again the the coverage on girl mono not girl mono storyville well girl mono as well is great they're not they're not too snug this one actually fits me really nicely all right we'll move on to the next all right next up i have renee of paris's wren and this is in the color creamy toffee rooted it is a gorgeous gorgeous color and what i'm thinking on this is it's if it's too long for you you can see where this first layer is and then you have this down here you can easily cut that off and give that an all one length and maybe add some face firming layers. I also think that this is a good dupe for uh, Beltress's Tiger Sugar. Sorry about that. I had hair in my mouth. Tiger Sugar. This could be a dupe for it with half the price. 
So I've been trying to sell this one for a while and I've not had any takers. I don't know why. It's gorgeous. Let me do a spin. Very long. Very, very pretty. It's just too long for me. I just wanted to review it. So I'll show you the inside of the cap. This one is a basic cap. So maybe that's why she's not selling. So you have that nice uh, velvety felt there. It's very, very soft up against your forehead. And then the rest is all open wefting. You have an extended nape in the back with the slide closures. Okay, next up I have, and I don't know why people aren't grabbing this one either, because this is, it's actually a luxury wig, and I'll show you why whenever I open it up. It's Jim Tress's Lantana, and this is in the color 1621. Let me show you the inside of the cap first. It is amazing made for comfort and this is anyone can wear these but they make these and cater these to women specifically with hair loss so it's a very comfortable cap this here is all hand sewn and it is so soft you see you have your polyurethane here strip for adhesive to secure that down you have an extended nape you have the uh, ear tabs with the bendable stays and Velcro closures. So this cap overall is made for comfort. And she's curly. She's cute. She is easy to wear every day. Let me put her on. When I say comfortable, I mean comfortable. Okay, so I haven't had her on since I've done my review. So this is freshly out of the box. Look at that. What's not to love about this? These curls are just so bouncy and spring-like. Let me show you that lace front. This is not a rooted color, but it is a shaded color. So I'll spin all the way around. I really like that it's got this nice uh, swept little bang here. And you can see that it's perfect as far as not getting in your eyes. So you can wear it like that. Or if you don't want it as a bang, then you can sweep it back and get some you know, volume out of it. Let me do a spin on her. very very nice this is actually probably the most comfortable wig i have ever had as far as the cap it's just like i said luxury to me all the way around so which is in the back okay here is one that i'm going to give a full disclosure on i will never lie to try and sell a wig um, this is Amores Braylon. There was a time when I was hooked on Braylon. I mean hooked. And I had Braylon in just about every color you can imagine. So this one is champagne rooted. And I'm going to tell you uh, what happened here and what I did. I actually... Looks like someone's pulling into my driveway. I actually did not like the color of this Champagne Rooted at all. So I took one of those L'Oreal uh, root sprays and I sprayed it all over the wig. Well, don't do that. If you if you want to change the color of a wig, don't. That's my recommendation. Don't do that because it doesn't work and it doesn't wash out. So this one has had a bamboo treatment, everything to try and wash that out. Now the fibers 
themselves feel fine. There's nothing wrong with the fibers at all. It just, it's not the same color that it was. So let me do a spin. So because of that, I will uh, sell this one really, really cheap. And it does have the bamboo uh, leave-in conditioner. You know what I'm talking about. That stuff that you get from Amazon. I don't have it any longer. But it does have a strong smell of that. And it's been washed. So here is the lace front on this one. I'll take it off. Feels like everything's coming off with it. This is another very nice, and I feel like I just ruined that. So we have a temple to temple lace front, and this here is all hand tied in there. You see my finger through there? Yes. And then the uh, rest of the cap is all open wefting. You have your ear tabs with the bendable stays, the extended nape with slide closures and a lot of stretch so Amores Braylon has good coverage and nice stretch it fits an average size so really the color is not too bad it's just dulled it's it it took any kind of you know shine that it had which you know some people don't like that shine it just kind of messed with the color so that one's for sale all right, here is another Amor Braylon, and this one is in the color Rose Gold Rooted. Um, I didn't do anything to the color on this one, but I did something to the bang here because that bang must have been bothering me. So let me show you how it looks because I didn't do a very good job. It's still long enough that if you have the skills to go in and fix that, you could easily do that, but you can see as far as trying to sweep it over, now I'm not getting that effect. Actually, this kind of style right now is big with uh, Tress Allure, all of their little banged, shaggy styles. So like I said, if you have any kind of skills, it wouldn't be hard to just fix that bang and trim that up. It's just not a favorite of mine anymore so the cap is just like the other one that i just showed you like i said I haven't done anything to the color on this one just that bang and i'd like to uh do a two for one with these two so like you take both of them for a certain price and i will list that and this may be the last one that i have i'll have to look all right, I did find one more. This is the last one. Uh, this is Ellen Villa's Casino More in the color Sandy Blonde Rooted. Show you that. She's a cute little shag. She's just not for me. And she does have a lace front that runs extended to the ear tab. And we have a left side mono part. The felt ear tabs with the bendable stays, extended nape with Velcro closures. I I think I did a review on this. I haven't worn it. I don't like it. Um, let me put it on and show you. Um, it still has the lock ticket on it. Ticket tag. My hair needs to be put up. Yeah, I was truly kind of disappointed with this one. I was expecting this one to be a lot more like um, Ellen Villa's Ocean, and I just wasn't getting that. If you had the patience and the time to work on these flips, or this is an out-of-the-box style, you're really not supposed to have to do anything to it. I will show you the lace front if I've got it on good very nice and my ear tab coverage comes oops right there just above of my glasses frame which is where I like it and you can wear that with the bang swept back or more of a side swept up to you 
how you would like to. So this is brand new. I just got this one a few weeks ago and did my review on it. It's just not, it's cute on somebody else. Those little flippy, shaggy looking type uh, styles are really in style right now. What I just cannot do anything with is this right here. I can't do anything with that. So I thought, well, pass it on to someone who can. So how this is going to work is I'm going to put the price on each one. And if you are interested in it, you need to comment and let me know which one that you are interested in and then email me. My email is going to be listed in the description. It is, uh, I'll just put it in the description and you will have one to two hours to pay. I know it's the weekend and I know that everyone is busy. So, um, I do not uh, send them in the box unless you really want the box and request that. Uh, then that will be $12 extra because I will have to find a box to send it in and make sure that it gets there to you safely. I accept PayPal and Venmo and I prefer Venmo because there are no fees. So take a look at everything and make sure you watch all the way through. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. And thanks for, see, I think that this is just adorable. Maybe I should keep this one and take, you know, my hot tools brush to it and kind of train this to do the same thing as this one and not quite so flippy. It's just uneven. And I'm all about that, you know, OCD. I got to have everything looking the same on each side. These fibers are just dynamic, though. Your hands just glide right through them. Did I show you that? Yes, I did. All right, that's all I've got, guys. Thanks for watching.